Lee, I think, in, inspired tonight. Um, please, um, other people, chip up and, and share what you what you feel. Anyone? Frank, I uh, this Jimmy. I uh, I've been I was evicted and I've been moving for eleven days and I just finished up. Well, I'll finish up in the morning, I guess. But I'm so I'm behind a little bit. I missed that other call, and I have to go back and listen to that. So I'm really um, uh, I'm behind, but uh, it still sounds great. So I just have to get caught up. That's all right, Jimmy. I'm sorry to hear what's happened to you. Um, well, there must be a reason for it. I'm okay. <laughs> they're they're going to have their last shot, so that's it. That's good. Yeah. Well, for the most part, Frank, I've talked to a few people about it, and I get the usual. They think I'm from another planet. You know, uh, you know and the people that know me now, can you guys hear me? Yeah, a little bit louder, Frank. Can you hear us a bit louder? <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yeah, that's a bit better. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, kind of going back to what John Hunter said earlier, it's, uh, you know, for people that have been doing this and, and studying and, and researching and looking at history and, and, and trying to connect all these dots together with uh, our lovely government and system here, uh, you know, f for for us to listen and, and look at the things that you're doing, it, it you know, it's so much become second nature at this point to uh, to understand. But um, you know, when I talk to some of my my friends about this stuff and all, they just they they look at it as 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 you know, as ancient maybe, or, or something out of a Bible that they they don't understand themselves. Yeah. <clears throat> um. You know, the, the, as to what John was saying earlier, how? how and my question, you know, I might have asked you before was, um. You know, my my take on it uh, from the divine is is that he leaves you blank. You know, you, you fill in. What needs to be filled in that makes your perception and who you are and, and how how you're going to react and that's the, the knowledge <clears throat> you know when you know what is true and believe what is true if you want to call that your faith then that is truly what gives you the power but the people are so people in general especially here in this country are so far removed um, from what they are as a human being. You know, yeah, because but, it's remember, vital. And thank you for sharing, Frank, and I really do appreciate um uh, sorry, I hope you don't come in or come across us or cutting off, but Frank, um That's fine. It's remember the parable about the, the seeds in the ground? Right. Do you remember? Yes. Yep, yeah, so so the farmer's there. <clears throat> I mean, one could argue he wasn't a very smart farmer, but who would read the parable anyway? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the farmer's there with his seed, and some falls on good ground, yeah? Some falls yes. on, on uneven ground, and then some falls on what? Rocky ground, yeah? Correct. Right. Okay. So is it the farmer's job to um, do the living for the seed? Is it his job to do that? I'm sorry? Is, is, is it the farmer's job to tell the seed what to do? Or is it up to the seed to get on with life? Or not? It's up to the seed to get on with life. That's right. So if the ground is is the people you're meeting, and that's the parable, the ground is the people, the, the people who, and the seed is the knowledge, then it's not our department to worry about whether they picked up this message or not. It's our job to sow, exactly. Yeah? So I, I just want to share with you because I, I, I shared, by asking you, I ask genuinely because 
it's a human thing. I, I do what I do. I, I wake up every day. I do this. I say my prayers. I give my blessings. I, I hope not to offend, and I, you know, I hope to do the best I can. But it's not my department to worry about whether the Queen has read this, or whether the, whether the they can wake up and change, or whether the bankers will be, you know, torn from their ivory towers and and, and people saved. I I want it to happen. I hate seeing the evil that, that, that still exists in a handful in this tiny number of flesh bound beings. Um they're my department. So I think if you're sharing it, Frank, um, with the courage of of, of being that, that soul then good on you because um it's not easy, particularly when it falls on rocky ground. But Frank, I mean that's great. Sure, please. That's right. Well, and it goes with, you know, you're leading by example, you know, and uh, I went through my eviction. Um, uh, You know, all friends and family that know me who thought I was, like I said, from another planet, trying to do what what most of us on this call have done, you know, with my silver surety bonds and all my statements and your averments, and, but now, and yes, I was removed from the house, but it was the game that I decided to play, but I didn't lose it. I actually, I have the house back. They actually came today and took down their for sale signs, because I told them, if you do not, you're going to be pressed for trespass, because I have the deed. I broke the deed. I'm paying on the deed. You're the tenant. So for me, you told them you're correct. the tenant? Uh, it's the win-win. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> yes, I have, and and... They finally know now that I, I, you know, that I'm for real. So, but the thing is, is that I did it. I had to believe in what I did, and what I wrote, and what I put up, in the order that I put it in. So, you know, even even my closest, you know, brothers and brother-in-laws are are, are shaking their heads, going, "Wow, he's crazy! I can't believe he did that." But yet they don't, you know, they 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 still have the the timidness to stick their toe in the water. And, and just as the, the young man today that <clears throat> had his lesson from from God or, or from being in jail that gave him the time to really let it sink in, you know, what's going to make him a different man. <clears throat> and now he's going to go out and encourage people to do this. <clears throat> I mean, uh, that that's how it's going to have to go, just like you said. If I'm the seed or the hero or however you want to put it, so be it. But I'm doing it, you know, and... and and, and the people and everybody else on this call is going to have to do it. And you have to do it, and eventually they'll follow. <clears throat> they'll follow. That's what I believe. That's right. They'll follow because you've helped them, because you have given them what has been taken away. What people need more than anything else at the moment is, is, um, is their faith restored. Will you agree? <clears throat> Um, Absolutely. Well, you know, Frank, this is Gary. There's one thing that Jesus used to teach. He said, I will feed you line upon line and precept upon precept. He didn't say he would give us the whole elephant at one time. We get to eat a little spoonful at a time. And we don't get a belly ache. I know. So people... Annoys have an opportunity to die. <laughs> I mean, keep going. I mean sometimes I feel like I got the whole elephant. But <laughs> Tell me that. <laughs> uh, I felt like I was throwing a thigh on the ecclesiastical law. I could tell you. <laughs> Here's the elephant's thigh. Here you go. Chew that one. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, it's... Um, it, I'm, I'm just I'm just overjoyed to hear, um, and I really appreciate all the comment and, and all the share that's coming from from, from all of you. I mean, it's it's uh, I guess it, there, there is no other way, is there? If, if it is what it is, then that's exactly the way we would expect it to be. Not some great advertising campaign infomercial, not some you know white haired white suited um, fellow you know in some wonderful magical pulpit telling us um, it is 
in the grassroots bread and butter trench issue case by case demonstration of the divine standing there witness to see it turned around against all that power that is that is the stuff that wakens people's spirit and gives them hope yeah yes and I always felt one thing leadership is a lonely position absolutely and in that there is where and I've always wondered about the Lord you never at times you see but you think about his leadership the garden of Gethsemane the places where he had his most important moments the apostles even shunned him to leave him to himself so as we journey upon this place and this planet we must understand like you Frank I know that there is times that your journey is hard it is lonesome but few that listen and give you that support and that encouragement to continue to complete your mission Well, you, you're helping me tonight. You have no idea how much you helped me tonight. Well, you're loved and appreciated because we truly, by the Spirit, feel the truthfulness, the earnesty of your sincerity, and your love of our Heavenly Father. It's very apparent, Frank, and we do truly really appreciate it. Well, I'll get back to eating that fire of the elephant. <laughs> <laughs> and the elephants haven't even come yet. What's that? <clears throat> I said the elephants haven't even come yet. And, oh. and my, my, my shake on it is, is this, is that if, if we can stay together and get this done <clears throat> and have the understanding and the knowledge <clears throat> that, that we're acquiring... When the thing does totally fall, which we know it's going to, whether it's six weeks from now or six years from now, but then, then is when you're going to see when the people are going to come to you because it's, it's not, <clears throat> the floodgates will open then. And then who, who are they going to turn to? Who are they going to have to turn to? They're not going to have a choice but to turn to the people who know. <laughs> And that's when you have to be prepared because you're going to have to give your, you know, if you truly want to make a difference and you truly want to help and you truly want to have people understand what we know and understand, it's going to come. And it's going to come in a hurry, in a flood. <clears throat> you know, for, for us that have been involved in some of these groups and, and we try, try and, and we still try in, in some, some regards to get things going, um, <clears throat> You know, for anybody that knows Mark Wasmuth and, and so forth, you know, he, he's been out on the road many times going anywhere he can. didn't matter if there was one people or 70 people telling, telling the people in the United States what has happened, how he's had it, and he's put his time in. He went and found all these things. He went to the Library of Congress. It wasn't, there wasn't any, oh, well, I found this on the Internet, and here's my interpretation of it. <clears throat> but when the time comes... Guess who they're going to come see? The people that know. The people who have the truth. The people who want to give the truth. And when it comes, I, you can best be sure that it's going to come. <clears throat> so, therefore, you know, as, as far as I'm concerned, is that it is up to us <clears throat> to, to make sure that we understand and have a system that works, that is honest, <clears throat> and that is true. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, John Herndon, how do you feel about? I mean, there's been a lot of reading, a lot of a lot of getting up to speed. But how do you feel with what you've been reading and absorbing? <clears throat> can you hear me? Yes, can hear you. Yeah, um, it, it's fascinating, Frank, and I, I just, my regret, sorry, I don't have enough time to do it. It's, uh, it's uh, something I want to get up to speed on so fast, and um, and I'm just, I'm very hungry for it. And uh, 
I was reading uh, what William said about uh, uh, showing people how to.